we're back bitcoin is up six percent so far on the day as we continue on this bounce back from a 27 percent pullback the last couple weeks now with the option contracts out of the way finally we can continue on our way back to new all-time highs today i will show you guys how to make the most of this bounce back opportunity with the exact trades that I will be taking. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials, and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful investors. The goal of this channel is to empower you guys with the knowledge and resources to take you up to that next level. So make sure to smash that like button. And if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell. Ding, ding, ding. Get it? That's you turning on the notification bell. So first off, let's go ahead and cover those trade setups that we gave you guys on Monday's video. So that first trade setup that we gave you guys was at $54,000 entry, which we really liked. And as you guys can see, if you would have taken that entry, which happened right around this range right here, you would have been able to write it up all the way to about $57,000, which of course would have been a profit of about 55% if you use 10X leverage like we did. That next entry that we gave you guys was uh, that 55K entry. So if you guys use that one and wrote it up to 57, you would have been able to do about 36% profits. And if you guys took profits and then when the price shot down, you guys grabbed this bounce and took profits again, you would have done that 55% and 36% two times. In Ethereum, guys, Ethereum has been relentless as you guys can see here in the chart, just grinding higher and higher and refusing to come down, right? So if you guys took that first entry we gave you at 2,500 and wrote it up to the top where we are now, you would have done about 60% profits if you use 5X. If you instead entered at 2,600 and wrote it up, you would have done about 38% profits. And if you entered at the previous all time high at the time of Monday and entered above 2,650 up to 2,800, you would have done about 28% profits if you use 5x leverage if you guys missed any of these trades do not worry we have more trade setups for you today all righty guys so we spoke about this move that's currently happening right now on monday's video we pointed out that this exact pattern this exact move what we saw it before here Look at this. If you guys looked back into February and looked at this drop and then this big green candle, guys, look at this. It's the same exact thing. The big drop, falling wedge pattern, and then a big green candle. We're basically doing the same exact thing that led us to new all-time highs. So, guys, that's what we're expecting here. We're expecting this move, which we saw already. Then we saw this consolidation right here, consolidation right here, and then a continuation to the upside. Right now, we're in that continuation uh, phase, I believe, of this move. So I think that we sh could be testing 60K this weekend. You can see here that the RSI is in neutral territory. So we're all good there. Nothing to worry about because it was reset with this drop. If we go ahead and zoom in here to the four hour time frame, you guys will see here that we had this bull flag here, which we did get out of, but then we back bounced back up at that 52k level and this was after this dump so if you guys didn't know this run up here was because of the rumors that facebook had bought bitcoin then as soon as it was found out that it was not true then that's when you saw this huge dump off here to the downside so that's another typical guys buy the rumor sell the news it's very very common in the crypto world so you guys always have to be prepared for any rumor type uh, things in the market. Then we also had the option expiration contracts uh, today, which happened this morning. And like we've told you before, every time on the day of the option expiration contracts, we've had a big green candle. 
if we zoom out a bit back to March 26, when we had the previous options expiration contract, you will see here that we had this huge green candle follow on that same day. And that was a 7% move. Today, we've had a 6% move. And you saw after that, it just continued up. We consolidated a bit and then continued up. That's when we set the previous all-time highs. I definitely think that it's a possibility that in the next two weeks, we could see a new high. Remember, right now, we're just following exactly what the price has done in the past. You can see here in Ethereum, it's just been pushing and pushing and pushing. Nothing's been able to stop Ethereum for the past week, even the past two weeks. Although it had this 20% drawdown, it literally jumped right back and it's continued on its way to um, just set new all-time highs day after day right now. Of course, that next resistance right now is currently at that $2,800 area. Uh, it's crazy to say because on Monday, we were just at $2,500. Today, we're at 28. I definitely believe we will be hitting 3,000 in the next possibly week or so. If there are any pullbacks here, the levels that we're gonna be watching is at 2,700, 26, 25, 24. And the biggest level here is going, gonna be this Fibonacci level, um, which is this uh, the 23.6% level, which is right around that 2,300 area. So we're just gonna be watching for those big hole numbers in Ethereum. Alrighty guys, so next we're gonna jump into some trade setups that we're going to be watching this weekend. So again, I am bullish on the market for the weekend and uh, now that options contracts uh, have expired, there's no more selling pressure for the next at least two weeks or so, right? That's what the chart patterns have been telling us for the last six months. So for these next two weeks, I'm very bullish on Bitcoin. Now, in order for this to happen though, you guys must be subscribed to the channel and you must smash the like button. If you guys have not liked this video yet, and if you do not subscribe, I will call, I will phone Satoshi Nakamoto and tell him to pull the plug on the whole thing. Yeah, Satoshi, pull the plug. Just kidding guys, but please do like this video and make sure that you're subscribed if you're new here. Alrighty guys, so that first trade that we're gonna be looking for here, uh, currently we're at 56.6. K. So we're going to be looking for a break above this 57K area. Now we are, we, we have gotten rejected currently, right? Um, but I'm still looking for that trade because notice that this right here is a Fibonacci level, right? So check this out. If you go all the way back, look at this Fibonacci level. Look how many times there's been price action at these levels, right? So because of that, I am going to be using that 57K entry. Um, even though there's going to be a lot of price action there, I'm going to be using this, this as an entry to take some profits this weekend. I definitely see Bitcoin once we get a clean break of 57, there should be nothing else in the way between us and 60K at that point. So that's the first setup that I'm looking for. Now, the next trade that I will be looking for is a break above $60,000, guys. So on a break above $60,000, that is where I'll be taking my second trade if we broke 57 and continued up to 60. Now, in the event of a break down, I'm looking back here at that $55 to $54,000 range. This is where I'll be looking to take some new trade setups uh, throughout the weekend in the event that we pulled back for any reason. All right, guys, in Ethereum, we are looking for a break above this 2800 level. That's the main trade that we're gonna be watching this weekend. We wanna see a break above it. A break above it should help it continue up to that 29 to $3,000 area. If we see a pullback here, then we're gonna continue to use this $2,700 area as a pullback bounce entry. And when I'm saying bounce entry, remember that I'm buying as it bounces back up. I am not buying on the drop down. And if we test anything below that, then 2650 is a possible entry, but I feel a little bit safer at 2600 on any type of pullbacks here in Ethereum. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you wrote down these trade setups because we're gonna make some money in the next two days and hopefully in the next couple weeks.
If you guys enjoyed this video and if you made any profits this week from our calls on Monday, make sure to smash that like button and let us know in the comments which trades you took and how much profits you made. If you guys are here for the first time, thank you for joining us. Make sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. Guys, have an amazing weekend. I will see you on Monday. Peace and love.